Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about 10 ways to stay positive in a negative world. Now remember, like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. Leave me a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. Definition of positive. A good affirmative or constructive quality or attribute. And it's key for us of mankind to understand that we must stay positive in a world that is filled with so much negativity. And it's key for us of mankind to know how to stay positive in a world that is filled with so much negativity. And I have arranged 10 ways to stay positive in a negative world. It gets kind of difficult sometimes in life trying to remain positive, surrounded by negativity. We must embrace the things that mean the most to us and enrich those things even more. Also, learning how to acknowledge what we have unknowingly overlooked for so long. Point one, start your day with a positive expectations. So many times we start our day with a negative mindset or we look at things on the news or on social media negatively. These things will put a negative mindset on our minds before we even get our day started. And it's key for us of mankind to expect good things to happen in our life and in our day. Always expect something good to happen to you, no matter what. Even in your bad situations, expect something good to come out of it. Number two, savor the good. How many times has something happened good for you in your life? And you didn't even take the time to savor that moment and to enjoy that feeling that you felt during this time. I'm here to tell you, you have to stop and savor the good. Any type of good thing that happened to you, stop and savor that moment. Or when you are feeling down or depressed or negative, think back on them good moments and savor that moment and relinqu relinqu relinquish in that moment. This is key for us of mankind to savor good moments. These good moments put us in a great mood and they change our mind from being negative to being positive in that instance. And also, you have everything that you need to be great. So savor those good moments and use your capabilities to create good, more great moments to savor. Number three, stop and breathe. You have to understand thing, this thing in life. We get caught up in, in the run of trying to keep ourselves maintaining and making sure things don't get out of hand and just creating balance within our life will make us to forget to stop and breathe. And this is key and essential for us of mankind to stop and breathe. Gather your thoughts. You can't fly into things, situations without analyzing, stopping, gathering yourself, regrouping first. Then proceeding on. First, you must focus on your breathing, which allows you to slow down and reconnect to yourself. A calm down method. 
And I also have an exercise for you to try. It's called the STOP exercise. S-T-O-P. The S, stop and ask yourself. What are you feeling or thinking or experiencing right now in this situation? The T, take a deep breath. Breathe and let your oxygen flow for a moment. Just focus on breathing. The Z, the O. Open and observe what is happening at this moment in your space around you. Try that. The P. Proceed forward with a new awareness without expectations. Try this exercise often and see how it changes you from negative to positive in an instance. Number four, have fun. A lot of the times in our life, we get so wrapped up into staying focused and staying busy and staying serious and connected that we forget to have some fun, to let ourselves relax and just be ourselves for a change. We have to take care of our emotional health. And having fun is a great way to start. Protect your inner emotions. You may exercise your physical, but you have to take care of your inner self. And having fun, good productive fun, it don't even have to be a whole lot of fun. Just make sure you get some. This is key and essential for us of mankind to get our fun and excitement in our day and our life. This is emotional health. Number five, stay connected to others. Again, in our life, we get caught up in the routine of trying to keep things balanced and staying focused and making sure we are progressing in life. And we lose connection with people that mean the world to us. And I'm, a, I'm guilty of this as well. But we have to understand that we have to spend time with the people that mean the world to us, with our loved ones. This is why we doing what we do in life to get ahead. So we have to take time out and spend time, quality time. Put those phones down and don't communicate through social media and all that. That's, come on, let's get down to business and let's start visiting our loved ones. Keep in contact, keep them connections going. This is key and essential for us of mankind. Number five, six. Find meaning in your day. A lot of times we start our day looking at it like it's the same routine, same day in, day out routine. But one thing we miss, there's a meaning to be alive. So we must find meaning in each day of our life. It don't even matter what the meaning is, as long as it's positive and it's productive. And once you find that meaning, believe that you are a part of something bigger than you. This is key and essential for us of mankind to find meaning in each day, to motivate us and inspire us, to push us to get through that day. Number seven. Celebrate accomplishments. How many accomplishments can you remember that you didn't stop to acknowledge or celebrate yourself? 
I ain't talking about no big thing that you should accomplish yourself for. We talking about small things and big things. You must take time to celebrate small accomplishments as well as big accomplishments. Because when you stop and acknowledge these things, these are milestones that you are coming to in your life that you are accomplishing and overcoming. And it's important for you to stop and celebrate. You don't have to be a big celebration. Just celebrate. This is more effective than we think. It's helping our positive energy inside of us by celebrating our accomplishments. This will make you feel good inside. Number eight. Express gratitude. How many times have you noticed in your life to take things for granted until you finally realize that those things was very precious to you? And we must be mindful that we have to express gratitude openly and inwardly. Identifying the little things you have to be grateful for. Identify those things. And keep in mind that our brain has a negative bias. So don't focus on the negative in your life. Focus on the positive. And try to build up your positive mind frame. Try to enrich your positivity by doing things in life to add to that positiveness. Number nine, eat clean. Now I ain't talking about go to the nearest fast food restaurant or whatever type of junk food that you enjoy eating. Let's, let's get rid of that. You know why? Not just for your physical say so, but for your internal well-being as well. Because when you eat uh, messed up foods and like fattening foods and not paying attention to the quality of the food that you are eating, this puts a detrimental effect on your overall well-being, your mental state. Malnourishment low productivity brain waves are just not functioning at the level they're supposed to be this is all contributed to how you eat you must focus on eating clean balanced diets that consist of protein carbohydrates low in sodium things of that nature make sure you're getting drinking plenty of water getting eight to ten eight hours of sleep i know it's hard but try to at least get seven and just man try to eat clean this is not only beneficial for your physical it's beneficial for your internal as well number 10 practice self compassion So many times in our life, we, we don't take care of ourselves. We just go day in, day out, just doing our daily routine, not, not focusing on our well-being. And it gets to the point where we get to the point, some of us, that we don't even care how we look or how we feel. We just know we have a job to do, and this is not how you show yourself love. You have to show yourself love. The same type of love that you would show a best friend, this is the same type of love that you must show yourself. And you do this by reducing negative talk about yourself. Increase positive support for your emotions. Just take care of yourself. Look after your well-being in all aspects of your life.
This is how you practice self-compassion. I'm going to do a recap. Number one, start your day with a positive expectation. Number two, savor the good. Number three, stop and breathe. Number four, have fun. Number five, stay connected to others. Number six, find meaning in your day. Number seven, celebrate accomplishments. Number eight, express gratitude. Number nine, Eat clean. Number 10. Practice self-compassion. It's key for us of mankind to know that it's our job and our duty to stay positive in our life. And it all boils down to it's a choice that we must make how to start our day. Do we want to start it in a negative way or do we want to start and expect our day to turn out with nothing but positivity and this is the mind frame that I encourage you to adapt in your life like share subscribe hit the notification bell to receive all of my content leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment your response is highly appreciated.